Capitals hosting the Islanders, and both of these teams are minus 110 on the money line. The over-under is 5.5 goals. The Islanders laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 205, while the Capitals getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 267. The Islanders won the last game they played. The Capitals lost the last game that they played. These are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to puck drop tomorrow. Use a site like VegasInsider.com. It is totally free and it'll allow you to compare all the casinos pricings, whether you bet online or in person. And then use another totally free site like Covers.com. Click on the matchup for the NHL and you'll basically get every gambling stat known to man. You'll also see who was on the ice the last time these teams played each other, who was in net the last time these teams played on each other, and you can also see what players may or may not be playing in this game, which is always very helpful when you're gambling. Now, head-to-head, -head, the road team is 6-4 in their 10 meetings. The Capitals have won the last two games they've played against each other. The Capitals are 7-3 against the Islanders in their last 10. The underdog is 7-3 on the money line. The underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 9-1. The over has hit in their last three games. The over-under is 5-5. Five and five. The over-under 5.5 five goals is 5-5, five and, five, and there have been five one-goal games in their last 10 meetings, one in their last four. The last game they played against each other, the Capitals beat the Islanders 5-1 in New York. The game before that, they beat them 4-3 in overtime in New York. The game before that, the Islanders beat the Capitals 5-1. And the game before that, the Islanders beat the Capitals 4-1. So, food for thought. Now, in their last handful of games overall, the Islanders are 6-4 in their last 10. And the over is 6-3-1 in their last 10 games. We've had 6 goals, 2 goals, 9 goals, and 9 goals. The Islanders have scored 5 zero, four, and seven in their last four games. Two of their last 10 games have gone into overtime. I just like to toss that out there just to see how close these teams have been playing. Now, the Capitals are three and seven in their last 10. The over has hit in their last eight games and the over is eight and two in their last 10. We've had seven, seven, 13, and eight goals in their last four games. The Capitals scored three, they scored six, they scored six, and they scored three. So, also more food for thought, and three out of their last ten games have gone into a shootout or into overtime. For whatever the reason is, the Capitals play the Islanders very well. They're a home underdog. I'm going to take the Capitals with the money line. I'm going to take the Capitals getting the goals, and I'm going to go over in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.